Safari Small Schools is offering a free homeschool workshop for parents this summer on June 4th at 2 p.m. Central. To learn more, text SAFARI to 33777. And so, and then a lot of kids who, for a lot of kids, when you get on the computer, you're doing fun things like YouTube and, mm -hmm. and playing games. And, and so now you've put me on the computer. I can't read most of this. I don't want to do this. This is not fun or exciting. So what are they right. doing? They're just clicking through it. Yeah. And now even some of the assessment software that the schools have is alerted. It will alert the teacher when a student is just clicking through, when they're not taking enough time to have read the question or prompt and have considered a response. The, the system will alert the teacher, hey, this kid is moving through this kind of quickly. So what you're getting is useless data. Right. Because it's not fun for them. It's not interesting to them. They don't want to do that. It's taking too long. They may not know how to do it. For kids with special education services, they, they started to integrate some of the special education helps, like highlighters and things like that, into the software. But if the kids don't know how to access that, yeah, what difference does it make? It, it, if the kids haven't been taught, if the kids haven't been taught how to access the helps in the system, right. what difference does that make? So, yeah, because I know we used to, one of the um, modifications was read aloud. So sometimes I would sit and do tests with kids and I would read it out loud. But if they, even if there's like a read aloud button, if they don't know where to click, I don't know that they're supposed to do that, you know, and if they can't even read the directions to tell them where to click, then yeah, that kind of defeats the purpose. Painful. So painful. Oh, it It's ridiculous. Sometimes the teachers were not trained well enough to know where those were. Honestly, it is a dumpster fire. Terrible. Terrible, just terrible. And that's what it is. And it's every day and it's getting worse. And parents may or may not know that this is what's happening. And so. Mm. So even in the schools, they're, they're, you're saying they're doing assessments online. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Star test is if star test is not completely online in Texas, it's a peanut from that. It was going it was going online back when I was in schools. So star testing, I don't think they're doing it on paper, even for the children with special education um, accommodations. It, the accommodations are built into the software. Hmm. So and they just. They just put the kid in front of a, even at the school, even if they're in person, oh, yeah. just put them in front of a computer. Oh, yeah. And they take mm -hmm. the assessment. Mm -hmm. And you, you don't get the benefit of using um, the headphones. You don't get that benefit. You, you don't get the, so kids who need read alouds and stuff like that may be all put in one room, but what happens when all the computers in the room are reading aloud? I, yeah. What happens? It's just yeah. a dumpster fire. I'm right. Terrible. Yeah. So. And I've heard studies that students have better recall if they're in the room where they learned that content. And if with, they're with the person who taught them, they'll actually perform better, you know, because they have a higher comfort. They have, you know, they feel um, more at ease. So that was even a concern for me when we were doing the, the um, end of grade testing was when you were putting, you know, I would be with kids who I'd never met before mm -hmm. and I, and they're not used to my voice, you know, mm -hmm. they're not used to me and, you know, it makes them get nervous. They're in this room, a lot this room they've never been in before, mm -hmm. you know, alone with this lady, you know, that they don't know. And so just even those, you know, environmental factors, you know, so when you, when you put them in a room, you know, if they learn these things individually, they learn to do these things out loud. And then you put them in this big room with all these computers and all these kids, they don't know, you know, just even that the anxiety level can go up and that can affect the performance. And, and then 
then throw in all the, because you raised, I mean, excellent points, throw in the fact that they didn't learn the material. <laughs> right. <laughs> that, that, you know, they didn't yeah. learn the material. So yeah. that, and with state testing, state testing is a major undertaking on campuses um, everywhere. Uh, it typically requires a move of location, just like what you were saying. Most students do not test I'm sorry, many students do not test in their own classrooms. It depends on whatever needs that they have, behavior, whatever. Um, kids could be tested in small, kids could be tested in small rooms, like large closets type situations, mm -hmm. um, bad ventilation. Uh, I've, I've, I've personally tested kids where the room was so hot they had to bring in fans and the fans simply just blew hot air, you know, yeah. all, it circulated the hot air. These are things that I guess weren't considered before test day. I don't know. But so the testing environment is not optimal. And so you can't sleep. You can't, they don't want you to, they don't want you to, I'm sorry, you, they don't want you to read or do puzzles or something when you're done and just sit there. They don't want you to do that. Put your head down until the last person is finished. To me, that is very oppressive. It's non-conducive to doing well on a test. To add on top of that, the fact that the child wasn't really prepared for the test anyway, when that child is going through that test, they know whether they're doing well on it or not. Right. And it's just a mental, emotional workout for kids. And it's just not, it, there's nothing good that comes of it unless you're the one selling the test to the school district. Right. There's something good for that, that group or that person, but that's it. Right. Uh -huh.